Look what came in the mail! What is this? Thor's Light Blaster! Let's open it. Which one did you get? I got the frisbee launching one. You might not put that in the Probably stuff. I get it in a t-shirt. Okay. Cut. That's not how it works. You're clearly not doing that right. Ah, that's cool. Leg armor? Yeah, put on the legs. Hello. I'm so confused. These are the pieces that don't fit right. Probably for these, huh? Are they different? Yeah. Two of the legs are weird. Three of the legs are weird. Why are there four different ones? I don't know. Oh. Genius. So I got the batteries in. Okay. And it's time to play with this one. Wow. Good job. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> oh, it killed itself. It's terrifying. How do you turn it? Oh. <laughs> hey, <stop. laughs> the elevation. Oh, snap. What is this? Oh, the green is going automatically. It's terrifying. Ah, look. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Set it for auto? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the dog go? He ran away! Oh my god, that thing's scary! Oh, there's the dog! Kill the pepper! <laughs> Well, this thing's actually pretty cool, but I think it needs some modifications, but first, let's see what's inside of it, because I'm kind of curious how this thing actually works. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'll make a wall. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. So it looks like there's an actual mess inside of here. Like, I see this drive motor, and I see this uh, steering motor, I would assume, and that doesn't do anything. That's a screwdriver, that's plastic. Hmm. I think I should put a speed control on this. I want to use, like, a big speed control to see how fast I can get this thing to walk. Not here. Come, come here to this thing. 
I got a dog. Look, look at this thing. Look. Looks pretty same, right? I think we should right? put this on top of this. No. Yeah, that's the other one. Huh? Luckily, uh, Banggood sent me another one to do something with. They didn't realize that about this one, but... You should put that one together and we should fight these things. Oh, well, this is definitely uglier. Yeah, it looks like some. It looks like a fourth grader's like science project with hot glue guns and all that. It looks pretty bad. And that's not. There's great. a reason for that. All right, you ready to battle? You ready yeah. To fight? Okay. So, this thing is uh, definitely a lot cooler now. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't use a stock radio anymore. Yeah, I switched it up to my real hobby grade radio, so I can kind of independently control things. It's a lot smoother as far as the walking goes, because rather than full on and off, it's now on a proportional electronic speed controller. But with those upgrades in mind, it's still pretty cool, but um, or it looks pretty bad, obviously, because it's kind of like taped together, but the initial goal is it's not going to really look like this when I'm done with it. I have one more last really, really cool upgrade to do, and it's probably a lot more not safe. Um, I think it's off to uh, get some stuff. 49 bucks, no way. 24? This is about the right size. <laughs> this is gonna be that big? Yeah, it's gonna get upgraded. The enemy is being reinforced with an armored train. Well, that was interesting. Um, 
I guess first things first, uh, this is not a super original idea. I saw one YouTube video, I think it was a user from Japan or something like that. I think his name was like Y Nakajima or whatever. I'll post a link to the video down below in the description. It's really hilarious. You should check out the original one because it's really more artistically designed than mine. But mine is just purely designed to set things on fire and create chaos. Now as far as the way this thing works, there's basically just some brass tubes in the back. And there's like a model airplane fuel pump in there to shoot some gasoline out of these little um these little hoses and all that. So it's a pretty simple setup, it's nothing super amazing there. It actually works surprisingly pretty well, but the burn times are only like 20 seconds, so it's not a very effective guard dog by any means or anything like that. Performance of this thing is pretty bad. Uh, unfortunately the brass or not brass, this is copper. The copper tubes in the back are too heavy, so this thing if it meets any incline, it tends to kind of just roll over on its back and hilariously fail in spectacular fashion. <laughs> Basically, how this thing was still kept lit is I took like a um a twenty a two two three uh shell like an empty round. And I stuffed a Zippo wick in there and basically made like a little a little fire holder so, so this thing would stay lit so I could continuously shoot gasoline. It's pretty dangerous too and def this is definitely a do not try at home project. I really wouldn't recommend this. 10 out of 10 would not, would definitely not play with. It's way too dangerous. Especially because gasoline and fire generally don't mix unless you sort of know what you're doing. Then again, I'm an untrained professional idiot so I wouldn't really try it unless you want to get burned. Oh, what's also cool is uh, a while ago, Runcam actually contacted me and they sent me some uh, some other stuff. They sent me like a, uh, a Runcam 2 and some other cool stuff. But they also sent me this Runcam, uh, ow. This is pretty neat too because it's really, 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 really good low light performance because this thing looks really creepy when it stalks out at night setting things on fire. Unfortunately, it's actually pretty bad guard dog because it's too slow by any means like that. But the camera works excellent, so that was cool. So quick uh, thank you to Runcam and all that. So that's great. Hopefully I'll use more of those in the future and some other crazy builds and all that. And also, big shout out to Banggood too um, for providing one of these um, robot things because these things are really cool. If you guys want a robot yourself, you can check out the link below. I think it's like um, 70 bucks or something like that. I don't know. It's on their website. Check it out. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, uh, one one more shout out. Um, thanks, uh, Clay Payne, for um, helping out. Uh, he was another camera guy that kind of came out and filmed. He'll probably be out more when I do some more flying stuff. He's a really excellent mini quad pilot. I'll post a link to his channel down below too. You guys can also check out. And um. Yeah, I guess uh, do what the new end card says, subscribe, like, and all that nonsense, share the video, and I will see you guys in the next project.